Mr. Speaker, it is with great pride and a heavy heart that I speak to my district in Texas who gave his life while fighting the terrorists in Afghanistan. Marine Sergeant Brandon Burrow was killed on Sunday, June the 6th during combat operations in Kabul. This is a photograph of this marvelous Marine. He leaves behind his wife, Heather, and his two young sons, Cole, who's three years old, and Cade, who's one. Brandon was on his third tour of duty. He previously served two deployments in Iraq, and he left for Afghanistan this April as part of a team training Afghan police. He was 26 years of age and a 2002 graduate of Kingwood High School in Texas. In his 26 short years, Brandon lived a lifetime of service to other people. I talked to Brandon's mom, Terry, this week, and she told me that Brandon had just called her, and he had asked her to send him gifts for the local Afghanistan children in his next care package. Brandon, always thinking about ways to do something for somebody else. I've been to Afghanistan, and let me tell you something, Mr. Speaker. Those Afghani kids love American warriors. They love our troops, and I've seen how they react to those troops firsthand. Marines like Brandon are the reason why. They are the best ambassadors for liberty and freedom that there are in the world because, you see, Americans never go to conquer. They go to liberate. They go to lands they've never seen, and they fight for people they've never known. Brandon's mom and dad, Terry and Brian Burry, now live in Dallas, Texas with his two brothers. I met Brandon two years ago at a 4th of July celebration in Kingwood. He stood six foot six, and he was all Marine. He is an impressive individual, and his friends say even back in middle school, Brandon knew what he wanted to do. He wanted to be a United States Marine. He volunteered for the Marine Corps. He could have been an officer, but he wanted to be an enlisted man so he could be on the ground with other such Marines. You know, Mr. Speaker, there is nothing like a U.S. Marine. They go into the desert of the gun and the valley of the sun. They go where others fear to tread, and the timid are not found. These young warriors make great sacrifices today in the heat and dust and the deserts and the rough, rugged mountains of Afghanistan. They track down those terrorists wherever they try to hide. There have been ten, 10 Texas warriors killed this year in Afghanistan, four from the Houston area. In our congressional district in Texas, there have been a total of 29 warriors killed in Afghanistan and Iraq. It has been said that wars may be fought by weapons, but they are won, won by warriors. Brandon Burry was an American warrior. He was a hero in the tradition of our great men and women who defend the flag and liberty. It is America's warriors who pay the price for our freedom. In America's first war fighting for freedom, Patrick Henry said, the battle, sir, is not to the strong, it is to the vigilant, the active, to the brave. We are fortunate that these words still ring true today and that Americans like Brandon carry those values into battle. While we mourn the loss of Brandon Burry, we should thank God that a man like him ever lived. Killed with Sergeant Burry were Lance Corporal Derek Hernandez, 20, of Edinburgh, Texas, and Corporal Donald Marler, 22, from St. Louis, part of the 3rd Battalion, 1st Marine Regiment, 1st Marine Division, based at Camp Pendleton. These proud young warriors were killed on the 66th anniversary of the D-Day invasion of Europe. Shakespeare wrote about such men in Henry V when he said, From this day to the ending of the world, we in it shall be remembered. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers, for he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. Mr. Speaker, we shall always remember Brandon and his fellow Marine brothers and the lives they gave for freedom. So today I extend my prayers and my condolences to Brandon's wife, and two young boys and his parents, his relatives, and his friends in the Kingwood community. Mr. Speaker, when a warrior goes on hands, the family stands vigilant at home because they too have really gone off to war. Brandon was a Marine. He was the poster boy, boy for what is best about America. Where does America get such amazing breed, this rare breed like Brandon Burry? 
Mr. Speaker, there is nothing quite like a Marine. It was said best by an Army general when he said there are only two groups that understand Marines, Marines and the enemy. So Semper Fi, Brandon Burry, Semper Fi, and that's just the way it is. I yield back.